last time I made a movie, I didn't get to show you the nice hinge that I put on the door there. So now the, I don't have to just flop it out. It just slides to the side, put more stuff in there, and the door has a hinge for the reaction vessel. I'm making gas right now. Comes from here. Got 50 pounds of pressure of the gas. You can see it's leaking a little bit under that pressure. There's smoke coming out of the sealed vessel right there. And then it goes over to here. This is a water. There's a bubbler in there. There's a piece of a pipe that goes down into the bottom and it's like three quarters filled with water to cool it off. In the winter, I don't think I'll have to do that. I can just have that tank outside when it's 30 below or something, it'll cool it off. Here's another tank just to cool it off a little more. And as you can see, there's a, I've got a vacuum gauge on. The last tank, the last time I tried this, I used a 55 gallon drum and it sucked it in because I had too much of a vacuum and I didn't have a gauge because I didn't have that much money to play with. So I knew I was on you know, thin air, but uh, here we go. And uh, there, that valve is to um, uh, allow the compressor to get going because it's uh, got a capacitor start, a start winding, and that won't take any pressure or anything. So I open that up, and then I let the gas, um, a little of it escape, and then I open that valve while I'm closing the other valve, and then that way I can get it, and then I should be able to get 200 pounds of pressure in there uh, shortly. And uh, then I'm going to start the truck on it. There's a propane carburetor. There's some line going up there. The, the regulator, the IMCO regulator, it's supposed to be for propane, wouldn't work. So I got this propane or uh, acetylene regulator hooked up here. And I got, oh, almost 90 pounds of gas. And I'm going to try and start her up on that and see what happens. Well, it ain't running very good. It's running. 